Welcome to Excel Practice 4. Start Excel, click Open, then browse to where your data files are saved. We will continue working on the same spreadsheet as Excel Practice 3. With the Excel Practice 3 open, select File, Save As, Browse, and then navigate to your Excel folder on your flash drive or other location where you save your files. Name the workbook as your last name, underscore your first name, underscore Excel, underscore practice, underscore four. Rename Sheet 1. To rename a sheet, right-click on Sheet 1 and select Rename. Type Inventory and then select Enter. Change the tab color to red, accent 6. To change the color of the sheet, right-click on the sheet name and select Tab Color. Check to see if there's a sheet 2. If not, click the plus button next to the inventory sheet. This will add a new blank sheet called Sheet 1. Notice how the sheet names are automatically numbered in sequential order. Rename this sheet to Summary. Change the tab color to Aqua, Accent 1. Click the plus button to add another sheet. Notice how this one is automatically called Sheet 2. Right-click on Sheet 2 and select Delete. On the Inventory tab, in cell A2, change the date format to Long Date. The date format is on the Home tab in the Number group. Choose the arrow next to the Format window and select long date. On the summary tab, type summary in cell A1 and then press enter. We will use the summary tab to create a summary sheet. In cell A2, clear the formats. To clear the format, go to the home tab in the editing group, choose the arrow next to clear. Choose clear all. In cell A2, type total quantity and then press enter. In cell A3, type average price and then press enter. In cell A4, type highest price and then press enter. Auto fit the content of column A. On the summary tab, in cell B2, type equals, then select the inventory tab and click inside cell B26 and press enter. This will create a reference of the summary sheet to the inventory sheet. Verify in cell B2 on the summary sheet that your formula is equals inventory exclamation point B26. You should see the displayed value of 735 in cell B2 on the summary tab. On the summary tab in cell B3, type equals, then select the inventory tab and click inside cell B27 and press enter. This will create a reference from the summary sheet to the inventory sheet. Verify in cell B3 on the summary sheet that your formula looks like this. You should see the displayed value of 910.05 in cell B3 on the summary tab. On the summary tab in cell B4, type equals, then select the inventory tab and click inside cell B30 and press enter. This will create a reference from the summary sheet to the inventory sheet. Verify in cell B4 on the summary sheet that your formula looks like this equals inventory exclamation point B30. You should see the displayed value of 3700 in the cell B4 on the summary tab. Select columns A through B and set the width to 147 pixels. Select the range A1 through B1, merge and center the two cells. Select columns A through F and set the width to 95 pixels. Apply the heading 1 cell style to cell A1. Select the range A2 through A4 and apply the heading 4 style. Select cell B2 and apply the number format with zero decimal places. Select the range B3 through B4 and apply the accounting number format. Ensure that there are two decimal places. Click on the Inventory tab, hold the Control key, 
and select the Summary tab to group the worksheets. Another way to group the sheets is to right-click on the Inventory tab and choose Select All Sheets. Notice how the file name across the top of your screen shows Group. In cell E31, type Prepared By, your first name, and your last name. Double-click the Summary Worksheet to ungroup the two sheets. Scroll down to view cell E31 and observe the text in the cell. Display the Inventory tab and choose the text in cell E31. Ensure the worksheets are ungrouped by observing the file name. Another way to ungroup the worksheets is to right-click on one of the tabs and choose Ungroup. It will no longer show Group. Click in cell A6 on the Summary sheet and type Hotspots Available and press Enter. In cell A7, write a formula that calculates the available hotspots by taking the quantity on hand for mobile hotspots from the Inventory Worksheet and subtracting 25. The formula in cell A7 should look like this. Equals Inventory, exclamation point, A5, minus 25. Click and hold the Summary tab and drag it to the left of the Inventory tab. The Summary tab should be first, the Inventory tab second. With the Summary sheet active, group the worksheets. On the Page Layout tab, launch the Page Setup dialog box. On the Margins tab, center the worksheets horizontally on the page. In the Page Setup dialog box, on the Header Footer tab, insert the file name in the left section of the footer. Click OK to close the dialog box. Ungroup the worksheets. In Backstage view, show the advanced properties. Add the following. Run Spelling and Grammar Check. Compare your file to the example and make all necessary corrections. Submit as instructed by your instructor. I hope this video has helped you to complete this project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.